brother, 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 chill, chill, chill. What is the problem? Since two days now, you have not eaten, you have not talked to me, you have not done any work. Look at this man, Keke. This bearing you say you want to go and buy. I don't know whether you buy it or not. Brother, what is the problem? Brother, tell me what is the problem and your brother. Anything that bothers you, bothers me also. I'm your brother now. What do you mean here now? Always be in a water the animal. Or a book will be Yeah? If this man comes here and I know how he normally shout, the man will start shouting. Where is my keke? You have not done my keke. Can you hear me? Brother, can you hear me? Kowalum, tell me what is the problem? This is so chill. It's too chill. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, you see what you're saying? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine, I've missed you. Oh, so, let me tell you something. As long as you're rolling with me mm -hmm. in this village, mm -hmm. forget about it. Uh -huh. There's money, there's a fresh dude to roll with. <laughs> uh, you can say that again. <laughs> Chinelo, you and Timothy, what are you to do? What do you want? My dear friend, what does it look like we are doing? Timothy is my man. Timothy yeah. is your what? Chinelo, after everything I told you Timothy did to me, you still went ahead and threw yourself at him. Uh, eh? Well, he may have done that to you, but to me, he's just the best. Hmm. Talking about what he did to you, I think you caused it. Because you rejected him when he had nothing. And just when you, you discovered that he now owns a car, you shamelessly jumped into his car. Really? She Hey, madam, hold it there. Insult who? Look at you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You already insulted yourself. In fact, you're still insulting yourself. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. <laughs> Gold digger. Yeah. Shut up. I, I mean, the money you're owning her. I know she lent you some money to bail yourself. When are you giving her the money? Um, yes. Hey, Jaro. Talking about the money I used in bailing you that night. Honori, please, can you give me my 30? 4,000 that I used in bailing you that night. I don't have the money yet. I'll, I'll give it to you when I have it. Please, can I have the money next tomorrow? Because I'll be needing it by then. You can sell some of your underwears or if they are need to <laughs> you know they are not need no, I don't need to. you get out of here mm -hmm. it's two days let's go Rubbish. no we should be jumping now because she came <laughs> Your Highness, should I serve your meal or no? What about my son, Prince Tony? Have you called him? Yes, Your Highness, but he's not replying. His only word was, go ahead. He said that to you? Yes, Your Highness. It's okay, um, go and serve the King's meal. Don't worry about me, I'll call you when I meet you.
Tell me. Sir. This one you're carrying bag this morning. What? Any problem? No, no problem at all, Papa. Papa, I'm only telling you this because you're a good man. I'm traveling to the city in search of greener pasture. Yes, I believe if I had enough money, I don't think I would have lost the love of my life to the prince. So, are you now running away? No, Papa. I'm only traveling to the city in search of greener pasture. I mean, that way I could better my life than I am currently. Listen, I appreciate the decision Ikechi took for our future. But that was a wake-up call for me to do something about my situation. So, I, I, I decided to travel. To me, I would have wished you married my daughter Ikechi. But the way things turned out, in the spirit of our ancestors, grant you all your heart desires. You say, thank you, Papa. You must be very careful because you know where you're coming from. I will, Papa. Since the prince gave a standing order not to allow you into this palace, we have never received another to let you in. So I ask you again, why are you here? You again? You again? Now listen to me and listen to me clearly. By the time I become the queen of this palace, I will squeeze your future for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow should take care of itself. Tomorrow is full of surprises. So I ask you again, why are you here? Get out of my way. Don't dare me. Don't. It's okay. Don't worry. My lady. Sorry. You do not have the right to take her inside the palace. Only the queen, the prince, or the king himself have every right to. How dare you? What? How dare you speak? Get your hands off me. Don't try this next time, else I will not forgive you. Now, I ask you, why are you here? Are you going to leave or I force you myself to leave? She is going nowhere. What is She's going, going nowhere. nowhere. Eh? Are you trying to challenge Donald's power in this palace? Is that what you're doing? Shut up! And you, Stella, have I not told you times without numbers that I don't want to see your, your, your filthy legs in this compound? My baby is in sorrow right now. I mean, he's in a sorrowful mood. He needs a shoulder to cry on and this is my shoulder. That's why I'm here. You're such a fool. God. My friends. In the next 30 seconds, I want you to flog this thing out of this compound. And you come with me. You can use the gate. Don't talk to me anyhow. Your time starts now. Don't even talk to me anyhow. Don't make to slap your face now. Don't even try it. I'll, I'll just forgive you today because I'm in a very good mood. Do you understand me? I'm in a very good mood. Please. I'm waiting. Just be sure that I'll come back. I'm waiting. I would like to be left alone, please. You want to be left alone so that you die out of hunger and desperation? Isn't that what you and dad want? Isn't that what you want? Huh? 
my dad has refused to let me leave the palace. And in front of you, he humiliated me. What else do you want from me? My flesh? Son, I understand you very much. But I'm sorry I could not help you. Come downstairs and eat. I'll grant you passage outside the palace so that you go and see her. Are you serious about what you just said? I mean everything I just said. You need to see her make things right with her while I talk with your father on your behalf. Do you know Prisoner has not come out of this room ever since His Highness asked the girl to leave the palace? But oh, why is he doing that? Because I don't understand why a whole Prince Donald would dump a beautiful, classy lady like Stella for that dirty Nkechi. Wait, what are you people even saying, sir? What are you, why are you people even gossiping into the Prince affair? Don't you know it was Nkechi that saved the Prince's life? Where was Stella when the Prince was dying of a, a, a kidney disease? Exactly. What Stella did was wrong. She claims to love him, then why not make a sacrifice for the one she claims that she loves? Besides, those we claim to love are beautiful because we love them. I do not know why the king is bent on frustrating a Prince Donald. He should just let them be. That's my take on this matter. No one is saying she's not beautiful, but a beautiful heart is one that matters. Well, that take does not matter. We all know His Majesty is a man of his ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go do What is our business in this? Why are we discussing this? So it's now you've come to your senses, Abi. When you're portnoting into the prince affairs, eh? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get him back together? Yes. I told you she's the only one that befits your brother. Not that wretched girl. I do. Look, I know. Do you think I don't know? I do! But look, you do not insist on being with that girl. Father would never allow him to have his way. And that's my ch only chance of getting closer to the, to the throne. Are you, are you being serious right now? You, you had it all planned out and you didn't let me know? Yes. Look, I need that girl Stella to be far away from Donald. The far as she is from him, the closer I am to the throne. I'm sorry for not seeing through your plan. I will make sure she stays very far from this place. I will make sure of that. Still, at least you know my plans now. Let me achieve it. Sure. <laughs> and I want to be the queen too. So what are you saying? <laughs> Me the truth. What happened between you and the king? Why would he hate you so much? The prince says he loves you so much, right? Good. It's been two days since that incident happened at the palace, and yet he hasn't been here. That tells you. A lot is going on. We're taking you for a ride. The prince asked his father to break the news to you because he knows that you won't be able to do anything. It's a setup. Are you very certain about this allegations that you have just made? You shouldn't be here. You think of me as such an ungrateful person that I would discard the one person who stood by me when it mattered the most? 
I love your daughter Inkechi very much. And it will take death to separate me from her. You shouldn't be coming here to see my daughter. Because I, I don't want your father to hurt her. I don't want your father to hurt her the way he did to me. And the one I love years back. That is why I am here. So I want you to tell me what transpired between you and my father. Why didn't you ask your wicked father to tell you himself? I have done that. I have pleaded with him several times to tell me what transpired between you two. But he would not budge. Mazi, please, because of the love I have for your daughter and how much she means to you, please tell me. Please. Papa. Please tell us. Save us from this emotional torture. Please. Please, Papa. My praise, will you come back here? Adora, what are you doing with this poor wretched fool? Why am I here waiting for you? You don't have to say that. And besides, I told you yesterday not to bother waiting for me, that I'll be coming with my friend. Will you shut up? I am the prince. What right do you have to order me on what to do and what not to do? How many times have I told you? Eh? That I do not love you. I only love one man. It is Okafo. Not you, nor anyone else. Stay away from me. If you refuse me again, I'm going to slap him. My prince, can I ask you one question? Why are you doing all this thing? I mean, why do you hate me this much? You even know that I hate you so much. And you refuse to die or disappear. I am the prince. I should be the center of attraction. Not you. Academically, you are more brilliant than I am. You attract more friends than I do. And you are asking me, why do I hate you? All these are the reasons why I detest you. But my prince, you know all these things are not my fault. They are your fault. They are your fault, Rainbow Rouser. Okay. Anyway. You see? I don't want to see you close to her again. Now get out of this place. Get out! You, you come back here. Come back here, Adora. I'm not coming back. Adam. Is it okay? No. No. Calm down. Calm down, okay? Please. You know I love you. Get out of my sight. Just go with him. I'll come and see you later, okay? Okay? Come back here. You get out of my sight. 
idiot. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you hurting me this much? You know how much I love you. Do you know you are the reason why I'm still in this village? So that I can be close to you. So that I can be seeing you every day. I don't, I don't know I'm the prince. Instead of you to follow me, you left me and go after that wretched, poor village church rat. How could you? That village poor church rat is the only one that I love. I know he is poor, yet I still love him. Why don't you understand? Eh? Please leave me alone. Do you hear me? This is am I the only maiden in this village? Please stay away from me. Adora, do you know you are hurting me with your words? Do you know how much I love you? Do you know I can do crazy things because of you? Adora, why are you doing this? Now, promise me you are going to come to the palace tomorrow to see me. Do you hear me? I am not coming. Adora, you know I love you. I saw other maidens, but I chose you. Why are you doing like this? Please. Please. I want you to come to the palace tomorrow, please. I have a special place for you. Please. Do you hear me? I Look at you. Gallivanting the whole village with my woman. The juniors that always come first in class. The teachers love you. The people love you. That I, the crown prince, become the second fidel. In case you don't know, let me tell you. That is an insult to my personality. That's an insult to my crown. And it's a very big insult to the entire throne of this kingdom. Prince Amale, how is all this his fault? Eh? Why are you being unnecessarily jealous of his success? You already have all life has to offer. That is the problem. I have all that life has to offer. But I don't have you. I have all that life has to offer. Yet, I don't have the fame he has. Now you, come and kiss me. No. And I said no. She will do no such thing. Prince Amai or whatever you call yourself, I've taken enough of this, your rascality. The fact that you're a prince does not give you the right to step on every toe. Enough is enough. How dare you? How dare you point at me, Prince Samayo? And what will you do? What Take will you do? It's time to end it all. I'm not afraid of you. He killed the woman that I love out of envy. Are you sure what you just narrated to me now? It's the reason my father hates you this much. You can go and ask him. Ask him what happened to Adora and watch his reaction. And if he says I'm lying, when I come back, I will take you to some people that knew about the incident.
Papa. You don't know it, but Okafom Bade knows it. If he doesn't take time, I'm going to take that his daughter away from him. So it is true. It is true that because of your envious nature, you murdered a young maiden named Adora. You thought I would never find out when you mentioned the man's name? You thought I wouldn't find out? That innocent man, you should be emulating him. But rather, you hate him. You hate him because he is smarter than you. You hate him because he is better looking than you are. You hate him because Adora loved him instead of you. I hated him and I still hate him. I hated him because of all that and more. I was the crown prince I should command all the good things, not that, that son of a goat, son of a nobody, son of a slave. Danny, what are you talking about? Mother, ask him why he murdered a young maiden named Adora, who he was in love with, but she was in love with another. She loved Nkechi's father, Okafor to be precise. My husband, is this true? Don't ever ask me that kind of question, father, again. Whether you like it or not, I am going to marry Nkechi. And not you or anyone else in this kingdom can stop me. You take one more step out of this place. I bet I will do the unthinkable for you. <laughs> you think that scares me? Right? Do whatever you want to do. What is the most that can happen? You will disown me. Well, I'm going to make it very easy for you. I do not want anything to do with this throne anymore. I am out of this place. Donald, please don't do that. Please, Donald! 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 Now that he's gone, what next? We wait. Father is going to call a council meeting to make a declaration to declare him as his successor. If he does that, then my dreams will be fulfilled. He will. Definitely. I mean, for the fact that he allowed Donald to leave, he will make you his successor. <laughs> mm. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> so, what does that mean? To be blind. <laughs> Come to light. <laughs> You shouldn't have left the palace. Haven't denounced your birthright the way you did. Your future lies there in the palace. I know. 
but what my father did is unacceptable. No. I'm leaving this kingdom to a faraway place where I would make money for my own self. My prince, I know you a lot better than your father. But, but that doesn't mean you should abandon your home and your family. I have come to realize that my life will not make any tangible meaning if your daughter and Kichi is not in it. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Okorichi. My love. All I ask is, is that you wait for me for just a few months. And I promise that when I get back, I will make you very proud. My prince, I have seen that your mind is made up. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, there is nothing anyone can do about it than to say, take good care of yourself. I will. Oh? Thank you very much, Mama. It's well with you. I do appreciate that. Oh, sweetheart. I would like to have a private conversation with you. I don't know if you'd be free to come with me. Your Majesty, you must bring back my son. Should anything happen to my son, this palace will not contain us. Prudent. Why are you making this look like if I'm the reason your son left the palace. Look, have you paused to think about the possibility that that daughter of Ukafon Bayade actually bewitched your son so much so that he has to Choose her over the palace. Choose the slum. Choose poverty. Choose nothingness over royalty. Have you thought about that? You're here blaming me. Yes. He wants to prove he's a... Uh, he's stubborn. You know? He has a lot of resolve. That's it. Who does he resemble? Have you ever bent on anything? Well, that's because it's a trait of character required as a king. Yes, I have to be strong in character. I have to look very well take decisions and not to falter. That's for your son. Let him go off. How much else I go, man? Let's see who, who, uh, who still will, will work. Yes, the dog of the frog. Uh, what up? In as much as I don't agree with that decision to this one here, Donald was wrong. The king would never mislead him. And for him to bluntly reject the king's instruction, that is a slap to his face. That is open rebellion. And it shouldn't be so. Don't mind her. Maybe it's because I, I didn't actually do what I was supposed to do. Take this matter high. Because this is treason. In fact, treasonable felony. Yes. Opposite the bunny bunny.
Listen, woman, I want you to know that right now your son is irretrievably lost to me, period. I love you. are my life. Give my life a meaning. Friends deserted me. Family deserted me. But you came along. Give my life a meaning. I will forever be grateful to you. You keep saying this exact thing since you recovered. But truth is. I already started having feelings for you before I decided to give you my kidney. Though I didn't know you so well, but watching you fight for your life was really inspiring. I love you too. Would you go? Do you have anybody to go to? Why don't you just go back to the palace and ask your father for forgiveness? Please don't even go there. Don't go there, please. I will not return to the palace. Listen to me. I know you're worried sick about me. But I want you to understand something. I'm not a dumb prince. Okay? I made moves. I have friends in faraway cities who owe me. And they're willing to do anything right now for me. I understand, but... Still worries. Sweetheart, you don't have to be worried, okay? I'm doing this for us. I'm shaping my destiny for us. All I ask is that you remain patient with me. Just a few months. That's all I ask. And then when I get back, I promise I will make you proud. Okay? Has he been? 
No, Mama. He will leave by morning. Uh -huh. I don't know. I feel so guilty. Maybe I'm the one making him lose everything. No, my daughter. You shouldn't feel that way. Actually, you are the reason why he is alive today. You should be proud of yourself. It only takes bravery to do what you did. Yes. You are not supposed to feel that way. Come, my daughter. Let's go and eat. Hey, Nubo. Save yourself the greetings. Where is my son, Prince Donald? He's not here, Your Highness. Are you saying you've not seen my son since yesterday? Well, he was here yesterday to tell me that he'd be traveling in search of greener pasture. I tried convincing him to come back to the palace, but he refused. Wait, are you saying that my son did not spend the night here? Yes, Your Highness. He left immediately. This place he's traveling to, he didn't mention it. I mean, he did say exactly where he was traveling to. Yes. Let's go. Forgive me, Your Highness. I was supposed to search the whole place to know what if what they are telling me was the truth. I know my son Donald very well. There is no way he would have spent a night in that place. Because he will know I will come looking for him. I suspect he must have gone far away where I cannot find him. It's okay. Elders, I welcome you. Our elders say that when a child suckling the mother's breast bites the mother's nipple, maybe by accident, the child looks at the mother's face. If the mother does not give a sign of reproach. The child smiles, balances, and then bites the nipple again and again. Elders, my first son, Donald Nyolomonsinisi, He defied my instructions. He gave me an open challenge, unapologetically. And so I hereby announce that I, King Amaya the First, Lion of the Forest, and King of a Butu kingdom. I hereby strip Donald of all titles he's holding. Oh. He's no longer the crown prince of a Butu kingdom. 
In his place, I am appointing my second son here, Obin, as the new crown prince and heir apparent to the throne of my fathers. I have spoken. Thank you, Father. You will live long, Father. And I promise to follow the path you have led for us. Be good. Congratulations, my son. Thank you, Honorable. I'm going to have a good man here. 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 See you. You're welcome. Thank you. Your Majesty, if I may ask, what are the offenses committed by your son, Prince Donald, that made you strip him off all his titles? Oh, no, Your Majesty. I am not at liberty to go back to that unsavory event. That is a family matter and is a closed chapter. Your yeah, Majesty. Hello, Amo. I believe your son and I have an unfinished business. Tell him I'm coming to collect the two million naira that was paid to him to donate his infected kidney to my brother. But my prince, his majesty has pardoned him and asked him to keep the money. <laughs> huh? The king only did that because Donald was his favorite son then. Fortunately, I am. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Tell your son to be ready for me. I am coming to collect my money. Timothy. Timothy. Hey. This is the beginning of your mini wings. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, hey, don't forget your much more my plans. Well, that was when I didn't know the bigger plan. Can't you see that I have gotten off ever since then? You did the right thing. Now well, let's read what is learned. Okay. <laughs> first done out, first done out. He never knew the level of power he held. Making him lose it to a woman. <laughs> She's a fool. I mean, I'm and you. Hey! It's my brother. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am super excited for you, baby. when you're thanking God, what's the problem? There's no problem. Just to let you know that Prince Obina has been named the king's successor. He's coming here for the money they paid you. He's coming? Yes. He's coming here for the money they paid you. You know, Obina is not like his brother Donald. Mm. He doesn't laugh. And he doesn't forget issues. So get ready for him. Okay. Papa? Eh? Don't worry yourself about this. I've told you before. Mm -hmm. You will give yourself high blood pressure. I will not. Papa, stop worrying yourself about the money the royal family paid me. It is me they paid to, not you. I'm talking about Prince Obina. Uh. Papa, he will not do me anything. Uh. Yes, Prince Obina will not do me anything. 
Let him come for the money now. I'm waiting. I have gathered a lot of friends so, with that money. Okay, huh? I've leveled up, oh, Papa. All right, man. But let me remind you, when a woman runs, without tying her wrapper well, the wind will help her tie the wrapper well. Don't allow the wind <laughs> to help you tie a wrapper. Right. Obina is here. Oh. Papa. He's coming here. Oh. <laughs> Papa, it depends on the kind of wind. Oh. Eh. It's not every, every wind that ties wrapper. Ah. You will know the type of wind that will help you tie a rapper. Papa, stop worrying yourself. I'm not worrying myself, but I just want to tell you what is going to happen to you. Papa, nothing will happen to me. Adima, don't say I did not tell you. I am your father. Adima, when the wind comes, you will know. Papa, rest your, just rest yourself. I'm please. resting myself. Oh. Uh, 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 as in, you will intimidate me or what? <laughs> Timothy, I go man to Lanti Ano. Everybody is here. Just allow me to sit here. My prince. Good day, my prince. Good day, my prince. Give your salutations to yourself. I'm sure Ono Wu, your father, passed a message to you. My prince, in that regard, I had discussions with my father, and I don't appreciate the way you go about threatening him about the money. I've made it clear that Timo don't refund money. I mean, it's not my fault that the kidney didn't match. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. I see you are bent on not refunding the money you scammed the king, my father. Call it whatever you may, my prince. But I've made it clear that I would not refund that money. You see, I am not intimidated by your threats, nor your guard. So I will appreciate it if you take your car out of the way so I can take my sweetheart to a cool point where we can chill out. Babe, babe. Yeah. Uh, I just want to let you know that I don't send boys to do the job of men. I do it myself. My friends, be cool. Hey. My friend. My prince. Come on. It hasn't got to do this. Give me the key. Do you know what this is? This is a life ammunition. Do you know what this is? Stainless steel. One bullet, your head will scatter. My prince, don't play with this. Now take this off. Take what off? Don't use it. Come on, take this off. Are you stupid? You want to eat two million naira? Does your father have two million naira? No. You must be a bastard. Come on. Take over everything. If I blow off your brains. You want to go and you, are, you want to you want to go with your your, with your girl. You, have, you lack manners. My prince, I you would are... take one more word. I will blow your head. Take this off. Now drop your head. And hey, stay here. Um, where's that? Where's that? You eat your you walk you. Where's that? Where's that? My princess, I don't know him. Oh, I don't know him. I don't know him. You're eating to me. No, I don't know him. You don't know him. Just give me up. If you move, if you move, I will blast your head. My prince, if this guy moves, I will blast your head. Come meet your boyfriend. My prince, I don't. Of three, if I see enough of you again, what? Don't know me. 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 Don't know me.
And infested firewood because <laughs> lizards for a party. I warned you about open now, and you called it bluff. Look at you coming home naked. You are just like a madman. I go back to Nancy Anno, a berisi, and Nancy Awari. Nonsense. I told you with hand, one hand, now I'm giving you five hands. Rubbish. Look at you, you're almost mad. Animal. I want to go to a fuck or my Achia Canessa. Nonsense. Is it? Why are you in tears? Why are you seated here all alone? Huh? Talk to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I failed you and Papa. You have failed me and Papa. What is it? What do you mean by you have failed us? Huh? Talk to me. No matter what it is. I'm here for you. I promise I will never use it against you. Please, talk to me, my daughter. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. You are pregnant. I realized this morning that I have not seen my period for the past two months. It's okay. But look here. I believe Prince Donald is responsible for it. Eh? Yes. But I've not been able to reach him on the phone since he traveled. I try calling his number all the time. He keeps saying switch off, switch off. But where did he tell you that he is working that time? Offshore. As a marine engineer. <laughs> because that was why he studied in the university. <laughs> it is okay. It is okay. Stop crying. It's not the end of the world. Let's go inside. Let's go, Biko. Stop crying. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. Eh? It's okay. Stand up. Stop crying. Stop. It's okay. Oh? It's okay. Stop. My husband, I know that what she did was wrong, but I must applaud her for accepting her mistake. It takes courage to admit one's wrong. Now she see that Prince Donald is the one responsible for the pregnancy. Please. Yes. That evening. That evening when he said he was traveling. He took my daughter out and brought her back very late at night. I, I knew it. I knew it was going to end up like this. Let's stop. 
are portioning blames on her. Let's look for solution. Let's let's know how to solve this situation, please. Okay. Um, um, the solution to this is this. She must rope the pregnancy on Tony. Huh? Tony loves her and he is not going to argue. Papa, I will not do it. You're not going to what? You're not going to? Oh, maybe you people want to begin to raise bastards in my house. Oh, careful. Do you think of what to say before you say them? How do you expect your daughter to take another man's pregnancy and tie it on another man? How? Okay, okay. If that is not going to be a solution, then we should go and look for, 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 for Prince Donald to come and take responsibility of his child. No, let's look for him. Let's call him. <laughs> My husband. She's going to have this child here, and I will take care of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Okay, no problem. No problem. As long as no one is going to ask me for anything, like call money to train that child. If you accept that, you can do anything like that. My daughter, it's okay. Please, stop crying. Crying will not solve this problem now. What you will know is that we have a child to train. It's okay. Please, stop crying. Be cool. It's okay. Crying. Why are you here? Oh, no, where? Who might have beaten this woman now? What is this problem? Why are you crying? What is your problem? Why are you here? Oh. Oh, for the Kadila Mo Gary, for the Kogarila Mo. If you cannot talk to me, I will leave you. Why are you here? Yay! Yeah. What did you just do? Who did you assault on your way back, on your way to this palace? Who? Father, it was nobody. 
She was standing on my royal path and I had to teach her a little lesson. Oh, really? Really? She was standing on your royal path. Do you know who you insulted, who you assaulted? Do you know? Why you're here? The chief priest's wife, who is still in mourning. She just lost her husband. And he said she was standing on your royal path. Eh? Father, the fact that she's mourning doesn't mean that she'll come and start. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Have you gone off, off the cuff? You useless scum of a son! Do you know what you've caused? The royal cabinet will be up in arms against you. Going to slap a woman of that nature. Do you know that she has a lot of clout in this land? She is widely respected. And you went and slapped her. You went and assaulted her. Now listen. If you want to be king after me, you must go back and ask her to forgive you. Excuse me, father. Are you, are you expecting me to go and grovel at that woman's feet? To ask for my own subject's forgiveness? Father, that will never happen. Well, you have to do it because I've asked you to do it. You have to do it. Because when you are flexing your, your, your hopeless muscles on a hapless woman, hapless old woman, you didn't know what it would result to. Now you know. Listen, go back to that woman and ask her to forgive you. But I will never do it. I would never do it, Father. I am the crown priest of a Butu kingdom. How, how else will how else I use my power? Father, I would never apologize to anyone. What? Obina! Obina! Up! 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 My love, you need to go see that woman. Don't apologize to her. To regain your father's trust. Why are you people so stupid? Eh? Do you expect me? Soon to be crowned king of this great kingdom. So go apologize to a corner. You are my subject. No way. When I become king of this kingdom, I will make sure that power is respected. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not abused by everyone. Even the same. You need the love. I'm backing off the people you're ruling. You need it. You need your father to become the king. Yes. The throne does not belong to only the first child. And the king chose who his heir be. The rich are going, you're going to lose your father's trust. I see you really want to insult me in this afternoon. Why would you say that? Why would I want to insult you when all I wish is for you to become the king when I sit beside you as the queen? Why would I insult you? Oh, Mother, are you not 
taking your father, the king, to the hospital. Mother, no one takes father to the hospital. Why? Oh, you think I don't know your plan? You want him to die so that you can become king? Mother, I will still be king regardless. Be it today, be it later. So, mother, why enforce it? If that's not your plan, why not take your father to the hospital or better still invite a doctor to treat him here in the palace than leaving him just like that? I said no, mother. No! And no one dares me. Um, my fellow elders, it is sad that a mad dog bites everyone except itself. And the little weed one first to weed out always grows into a thick forest. King Amayo, unnamed Donald, and named Prince Obina as his successor. And since that time, Prince Obina has never given us any other thing except insult and humiliation. My fellow elders, if I may ask, do we allow this kind of person to assume the mantle of kingship? Do we? Oh no, Umba. Oh no, this same issue has been disturbing me for a long time. This boy, Prince Obina, is too violent to be our king. So look one for No. Or more. Indeed, you asked a very good question. But we all know that the king left only one son to succeed him. And that is Prince Obina. I think we should send words across uh, Prince Donald. Let him please come back. Because only him can redeem us from this impending doom that is looming around. That's a very good one. But where can we find him? It has been three years he left the palace. And since then, no one has heard about him. Um, in that case, the best thing for us to do now is to go to the palace and tell the king our reason of rejecting Prince Obina as his successor. Okay. That's the first thing we have to do now. I know. No more. The news reaching me from the palace okay. is that the king is critically ill. The king? In fact, for two days now, he has been in his room. What is wrong with him? It is him or no who can join you. Hey! I'm going to keep my mom with you. Hey! 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 Hello, what do you want? We are here to see His Majesty. Yes. The king is ill, he's unavailable at the moment. As the crown prince, you can um, refer your message, I will let him know. What is wrong with the king? We demand to see him. As I said, the king is unavailable at the moment. Let me repeat myself. We are here to see His Majesty and not to talk to you, boy. Call me a boy one more time. And I will have you whipped. Are you stupid or what? Enough, Obina. Enough of that nonsense. Do you realize you're talking to the titled men of this kingdom? They form the basis which this kingdom is known for. And as such, 
deserve a commendable respect. Obina, what is wrong with you? Mother, I am the crown prince of this kingdom. And as it stands, father is unavailable and unfit to rule. I also deserve respect from this man. Um, elders, we have to build. And my elders. Whatever happened to the king, yes. we know who to be. Who very responsible. Right. Yeah. Uh, please, my elders. Yeah. More of a little Yeah. Very good. More of a little My love. Yeah. It is me in flesh and blood. Kichi, I'm so sorry. I know you're disappointed in me. I will explain. I am so sorry for putting you through this hardship. I didn't know you were pregnant. I 
tried telling you when I found out, but your phone was off. Truth is, at some point, I gave up. I thought you had left me for another woman. When I told you that only death can separate me from you, did you think I was joking? No woman will separate me from you. Alright? Then what happened? Why did you stop communicating? Well, I met these um, contractors and they wanted me to travel to Kuwait with them. Sincerely, a lot of things happened. But in due course, I will explain things to you. Right now, I am back. And I'm not leaving anymore. Mama? It's okay, it's okay. You people should come and eat. The food is ready. Why not do this at the garden or better still in your room? You want to tell me that? Highness, I am sorry to budge in like this, but it is urgent and important. Speak. It's Prince Donald. He's outside the gate as we speak now. My own Prince Donald? Yes, Your Highness. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Baby, honey, open the gate. Open the gate. if you're hungry, I could um, send one of the guards to get you something, but as it stands, you're supposed to be far from the palace and the throne. Robin, do I look malnourished to you? Do I really look hungry? The last time I checked, no one banished me from coming to see my mother. You can see her and leave. Make that fast. As possible. Are you mad or something? I am the crown prince of this kingdom. And as it stands, the king is ill. And as it stands, I act as his regent. And my word is final. Mom? Father is ill? He's been down for some days now. I must see him right away. You will do no such thing, Donald! Who is going to stop me? This guard here? Or you? Try me if you can. Abuchi. Ebu kwa 
Namanya Bukit ini isi kata-kata kayu muka Apa isi kata-kata Bukit ini yang mau You know why he is here You have to do whatever you can To make sure he doesn't get it <clears throat> No one dares to take the throne from me I am going to be king of Ibutu Kingdom. We are going to rule it. <laughs> Good. And you have to stand on this decision, family. You can't give up the power. Not now that you've tested it. Never. It's only a fool who surrenders to the whims of intimidation. Do not come here with his head talks to scare me. He doesn't know what he has started. That fire, he just lighted upon him. Don't think I am going to change my mind about you. You are a disgrace to my name. Father, I wasn't expecting anything less from you. But I want you to know that your actions made me a better man. If I had not left the palace the way I did, I would not have been flying like the eagle right now. Anyway, I have already called the doctor for you. He's on his way here. I have to be with him, Gigi. She's expecting me. Hey, come Where on, you? Where you? Have pride. Where Me? Because you are your final. What is wrong with you? I have called Dr. Ejiki and his team to come and attend to father. I have also informed the Commissioner of Police, just in case you have any funny ideas up in your head. Are you here for the throne? If you think you're here for the throne, I'm going to assure you that it's never possible. That throne is mine. Don't be a fool to think that. I am the first son of King Amayo, and that means that I succeed him when he is gone. The throne of Ibutu is hereditary, and that means it is mine by birth. So you and father are only playing the fool's game thinking you can take what is rightfully mine. Father already stripped you of all titles before the elders. Why are you pushing it? He named me successor. And that I will be. Obi, I do not have your time. When I have your time, This guy. Baby. 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 Baby.
He's got all the ladies on the palace dance presents. How are you? Very good. Okay, first before I before I do what I want to do. I want to appreciate each and every one of you. You all have been so diligent and loyal to the royal family. And I just want to appreciate you with this little token. Whatever I give you here today is from my heart. Okay? Use it. Get a change of clothing. Help your family members. Family is everything. Okay? And as you continue to be loyal to the royal family, the gods of our land will bless you. You can go now. Thank you very much. <laughs> As if the gods uh, read our mind in replacing Prince Obinina. Yes, sir. They have sent us Prince Donald. <laughs> exactly. He came back even a better man. Did you know hear of the part that uh, he rent the money in the palace? Hmm. Yeah? Or still rent money in the palace? Yeah. <laughs> My brother's son that works in the palace picked up to 187,000 naira. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you can imagine if one person could pick that amount, it means that it was money rain that fell in the palace. But the big question is this: where is the prince? Because the story tells you that he disappeared after that day. No one seemed to know where he's staying. My fellow elders, eh? that that is Gary X is always inside Gary. Oh, uh, hey, Jay, if I should understand you very well, are you trying to say that uh, he should be with Okafor's family? Is it not because of his daughter that he left the palace in the first place? Hmm? Definitely, he will be with them. Even I had Nkechi the maiden, whom he wanted to marry, has a son for him. Hey, take one more zuli siuru. Let's go and look for him in Okafor's house. If he is not there, Okafor should know where he is. Ishia, you are right. You are hundred percent right. Aside the queen, Lolo, Okafo and his family are the next people that will know where the prince is staying. Exactly what I'm saying. Mm. My best thing now, let's go and meet Okafo. Okay, my elders, you're welcome. Thank you, my prince. Well, um, I do not want you to, to see this as me being rude or anything. But um, I have been very discreet with my location. So I am wondering how you two found out that I am staying here. Uh, my prince, my Andy was in a order of Yes, um, we the others. Together with your know, yesterday I went to Mazel Kafor's house. And after deliberation and the discussion, he will now reviewed where you are. Yes. So today the elders ask me and the uh, Ichia to come and see you on their behalf because they have other engagements. 
their way. My friends, a man who is trampled by the elephant is either blind or deaf. You see, my prince, we are seeing the elephant moving towards us and we pray the gods for help. And they sent you. Uh, my prince, let me elaborate it. We cannot allow Prince Obin to rule over us. My prince, if we allow that young man to be our king, automatically we have activated calamity in our kingdom. Never. Chamber. I've heard you. But um I want to bring something to your notice just in case you haven't heard. My father, the king, has stripped me off all titles as the crown prince of Ubitukunda. And he has named my brother Ubina as his successor. My hands are tied. As it is right now, let my father's will be done. My prince, Mba. My prince, let me tell you. Maybe if you don't know. The kingship of Ebutu Kingdom is hereditary by birth. Yes. It's been there from time immemorial. Yes. And by seniority, you are the first son of King Amayu. Automatically, you are the heir to the throne. Yes. My prince, My prince. This kingdom will be destroyed if we allow Bina to become king. You can't go back there. Obina will kill you if he sees you there. Because he will feel you after his throne. Did you say this? That throne is mine by the virtue of my breath. What are you talking about? The king made you as a successor. Yes, and he's the king. He's made his choice. I know he is the king. You must support his choice as the successor. He wants me. And that's why I came back to reclaim the throne and to also marry the love of my life. You do not even want to listen to us at all. You don't want to listen to my parents. Hey. This is not safe for you. You also have to listen to me. This is my birthright. I was just trying to check here if it's, it's okay. Okay. I came to check up on the phone with my friends. Oh, right, well, it's fine, it's fine, we can, we can go. What did you just say?
Father, is that really you? No, no, no. Ah. I am not dead, oh, I'm not dead. I am not dead. Hey, wait. I said I'm not dead. Father. <sighs> I was told you passed away last night. You have seen me. Huh? Am I dead? Last night, Obina tried to kill me. What? By suffocation. I kept struggling, struggling against his vice grip. I suspected he he could easily kill me, so I had to feign dead. Oh, I can do survival. You did that to my husband. I am not what to kill my husband. What to kill me? Let me know why. Did you really try to kill father? I don't want. Who did your majesty? Ah, police. Ah. The camera evidence that will nail him is in my room. Go up and collect it. Corporal, yeah. arrest this man. I said, Move! Move, my friend. Move. Move! 